It was a very exciting moment for the project and to have received uh, unanimous uh, voting uh, for the project just shows the support that we're receiving for the for this scheme. Um, and I think, you know, reinvigorating a, a building of such historical significance for Gibraltar um, has been really exciting, especially when we are now looking at the story of this building moving forward and how it will play a part in our cultural landscape. The entrance courtyard will be very open and very welcoming. And I think the fact that uh, people from, you know, around the area will be able to walk right through it in a very permeable way is very exciting in itself. There are some cafes on the ground floor, as well as a, a reception. We have some other exciting uses, such as uh, an art center, where people will be able to create their own art, um, which I think is also a, a, an, an interesting uh, addition, uh, because people will actually be able to participate in art making. I think the fact that there are, you know, um, pieces and artists of global standing um, coming to this uh, museum is, is extremely exciting and I think as a Gibraltarian the fact that my children will be able to visit uh, this sort of artwork of, of global significance at their doorstep is uh, extremely exciting and very rewarding to be a part of this story. From the outset we really wanted to build something here that would have international uh, fame and would be respected and, and, and on the list of destinations for an international traveler and um, we're really excited with the international media campaign to see uh, that kind of pick up across the board so we've had the Financial Times, uh, Art Forum, Art Review, Artnet, uh, publications in Korea, in Switzerland, all across Europe and America picking up on this. It's been great fun building the collection. At uh, present we have 150 works. Uh, there's two key strands. One is uh, gender politics, identity and representation. So Lots of artists making work thinking about the gays and the relationships between, uh, between the genders. Uh, there's also a big focus on human frailty and mortality, so thinking about the human condition and human experience. Um, those two themes will be widely explored in the first set of presentations. Um, we have a lot of artists who will be known internationally and have a lot of uh, recognizability, uh, such as uh, Tracy Emin, Sarah Lucas, uh, Anthony Gormley, Lucien Freud, Paul Orego, uh, Louise Bourgeois, all artists that everyone uh, who visits a museum on a regular basis would, would be excited to hear about. Um, but we've also acquired artists that are emerging and at the younger end of the spectrum. Whenever we tell someone here about the museum, there's generally a huge amount of enthusiasm for what we're doing and I think that's going to really uh, carry through with the local art scene. We really hope to, to be a community hub, to be a place for local artists uh, to visit, to come and attend talks and panels and discussions, to engage with the collection, to learn from the collection, but also in time with Fortress Studio which is uh, where uh, you'll be able to come and make things, uh, maybe to teach there or maybe to uh, come and attend a session and in time uh, we want to be part of uh, a regular uh, and energetic local program of events. So maybe an arts week, maybe some other uh, annual event where we can really uh, activate the local arts scene.